It's not my birthday anymore. I'm actually 18, but I did film a intro to this video and then I'm like watching it now and it it just makes me want to punch myself in the face. So I'm re-recording it. If you're new here, you don't know me, my name is Darcy and for the past year I have been documenting the entirety of my senior year in high school. A big step for me here is turning 18 because this means I get to do so many things. I can get a tattoo, I can go into clubs even though I can't drink. But um, I'm not gonna be doing any of those things in this video. I know, I'm sorry, it's really disappointing that I'm not gonna like do, be making all those reckless decisions right now. Um, however, those are coming, I promise you. I have been wanting a tattoo for the past, my entire life. I've been wanting a tattoo so freaking bad. So that is coming. If you guys want to join my Instagram, I will be posting on my story ideas for tattoos, what I should get. And on there, you guys will be able to vote on what you think I should get. We're going to make it a whole day. It's going to be a whole day. However, there are rules in place at the moment because I'm part of a drill team, which is basically like just Texan Rockets. Just So just imagine that. If you don't know what a Rocket is, I'm not going to explain it. So go look it up. Since I'm on such a strict drill team, I can't get tattoos. I can't dye my hair any unnatural color. A bunch of other things that are irrelevant to the point of this video. I haven't been posting as often because I do not have time myself at the moment. It is prom tomorrow. Y'all will be getting a vlog for that too. I know it's silly, but there's a lot of things going on in my life. And so I just haven't had time to like actually sit down and edit these videos and it took me a long time to actually get up and film them. So I'm sorry that I'm posting super late. I know it's been a while, but don't worry. There is a ton of things coming. If you stayed throughout the whole intro, thank you so much. I promise we'll actually get on with the video now. I just wanted to give you guys a proper introduction. Like, why do I always assume that the sun's just gonna suddenly start liking me? Anyways, I just straightened my hair. Well, actually, I blow dried my hair and I expected it to come out straight, but play the video. It didn't come out straight. So I straightened it so that I could look good for y'all and good for me because it's my birthday. So I have a bunch of stuff planned. Tomorrow in the morning, I actually have to go to therapy, which I didn't realize that was going to fall on my birthday. That's going to be a rough start to the morning. But I think before that happens, I'm gonna go to the store and like get a Celsius, you know, get prepped for the day. And then we're gonna do so much stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I can't stare at it. Y'all, I'm Norwegian, I'm not meant to be in Texas. Get me out of here. We're gonna do some things to prepare for my birthday. I'm just gonna light this candle real quick and then we'll get into it. already know I love to journal and I've been doing it a lot more recently. When I write down my thoughts I come across things in my mind that I weren't even aware were bothering me and if something is bothering me then I just write it down as a question like why is blah 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 bothering me and then all of a sudden like if I'm really I'm not even thinking about it but the answer will come to me. It, it just helps me identify things that I didn't even know were like a problem in like my life. It is now 1.17 in the morning and I fi finally finished journaling. Look, I made a bunch of TikToks or like videos for you guys to see on Reels. I have really nothing else to do so I think I'm gonna go to bed. I don't really know. I'm just, uh, I'm sorry. I'm just still kind of excited from like all the things happening. I'm feeling like super hopeful. My hair is straightened. My nails are on. My skin feels like it's clearing up although it... Actually, you know what? It is. I'm gonna manifest that it is. Like literally yesterday or like even this morning, it was so red and I was like, I should film for like my birthday. But then I was like, my, my acne, <laughs> like it's so bad. But you know what? Like, I know I have it. We all have it, at, have had it at some point, unless you're literally like blessed by, I don't know, the freaking gods of skin. But um, it's gonna happen at some point. And you know what? I'm just gonna own up to it because I'm turning 18. And so soon this, 
should be going away, but we don't know. We don't know. I'm getting a little bit delirious and I feel like I'm repeating myself a little bit. So I'm gonna go to bed and I will see you guys tomorrow. We're gonna wake up super early. So let's get it. Let's get this. Let's get this. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop acting weird now. Good morning. I woke up at seven and then I kind of just laid in bed for like a super long time. But then my alarm started going off, so I had to get up. I would have woken up earlier, but I fell asleep at 3 a.m. last night, so don't think that's gonna happen. I've seen a bunch of happy birthday notifications and um, it's just making me really grateful for like all the friends I have. It's really, it's really hard for me to make friends but I made some pretty good ones here, even though I don't like it here. <laughs> My skin has gotten worse over the morning because I actually was up before this. I just got back in bed uh, and I started picking at my face. So it's not looking that great. I have therapy today at 10 and it's about like 8.30 right now. And so if I wanna be up, I have to go get like a Celsius. So let's start getting up, I guess. Now I've done everything except for mascara and I'm gonna put on my outfit so I can go and get my Celsius. Okay, here's the birthday fit. We got this, the white version of the silk camisole because my burn still hurts. And then we got the jeans and the white shoes. So honestly, I'm really proud of this outfit. I think it looks super cute. Sorry, I'm talking like I haven't woken up yet, and that's because I haven't, but the world has. Hello, world. Mina does that when she wants to leave. So, let's leave, Mina. Goodbye, girl. I actually did a pretty good job on my makeup. Y'all saw how red it was. I don't have mascara on because I have therapy later and I usually cry and I don't want to ruin my makeup with mascara. Sorry if that's TMI, but it's the truth. So. Good morning. Okay, I see all of the happy birthday texts, but I'm not gonna respond until I have some artificial energy in me. Just, oh, I should have brought glasses. Oh, that's bright. Oh, hey. Hold on, we can drive out with somebody put signs out in my yard. It wasn't my parents, it was my Jules. Oh my gosh, look at me. My skin looks like it's glowing. Okay, I did a pretty good job of my makeup. Okay, I'm gonna have to block most of this because um, y'all can't see it, but I'll show you guys. They wish me a happy birthday. The only reason I'm wearing makeup today is because I'm filming. Usually, like even if I had this red of skin, like as y'all saw earlier, I would not be going and putting on makeup because I don't really want to anymore. The only thing I put on is mascara because you cannot see my eyelashes. I just wanna be able to wear my natural skin out and only have to wear makeup during like parties or I don't know. When I wanna take pictures for Instagram, that's the only time I really want to be able to like contort my face into, I don't know, something else. So we're just gonna go to Walmart. We're gonna go to Walmart and get me some artificial energy. And then I will come back to my house. We'll do some things. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll talk about it later. On my run. I was like, why does something smell so weird? I walked right past the candle section. Okay, I actually need to look up what products I need to use. Okay, I got this and this is just the normal cleanser that I use, but Instead, it's for like oily skin since my skin is getting very oily. I think that's what I need because and apparently it also helps repair like acne scars. I don't know, but um, that's just what I heard. I'm gonna be getting this one because it's so good. Mm, yum! There's a dove this morning. It sounds so pretty. I love doves. They're so cute. Huh. Okay. Let's go home and...
be productive today. Actually, no. It's my birthday. And I don't want to be productive today. Today, I'm going to be a little bit selfish. And I am going to go to therapy. And then I'm probably going to go back to bed. I've been listening to French music literally for three days straight. Because I've got a very special trip planned to see a very special friend. You guys will actually never guess where I'm going. It's such a crazy idea to y'all you could never understand. Oh my goodness. This is a good morning. A good morning, girl. Casual American things. Put in the American flag in the garage. Oh. Oh, thank you, girl. Hi, dogs. Oh, okay. Don't touch the burn, please. Down, down, down. You gotta move your butt, dude. So I'm not gonna let my perfectly nice bed. My mom was really sick last night, and so she kept coughing, and she didn't sleep well. Until she came in, she was like, take care of the dogs. I was like, okay. And then she came back. She's like, I'm sorry. Happy birthday. Um, and then I got these. From Pandora. Wow. And then, um, you'll never guess what. My mom is, like, super conservative. And she does not like, like, provocative shows, provocative things. But she knows that I watch Game of Thrones. <laughs> and she, I don't think, she hasn't watched it yet. But I explained the entire plot to her and my dad. It was a really fun day. It was a really fun day. Anyways, and she got me this sword that says not to, or, hold on, you can't see it. It says not today on it. That's from the episode that they were like, we only pray to one God, and that God is death. And what do we say to death? Not today. Anyways, so she got me that. And then, and then, and then, she, oh, I'm sorry. I'm like flashing out. I mean, sorry. Then she got me dragons. If you know anything about me, I love dragons to freaking death. I am super excited about dragons, and that's why Game of Thrones is literally one of my favorite shows. Actually, at this point, it's probably my favorite, like... I'm, I'm re-watching it and I got the book like y'all know y'all know I'm in love with Game of Thrones Sorry, I'm about to like die. Do you see how I have a freaking sword in my ear? That's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna keep this in. I'm gonna keep it in Okay, I have to go take care of the dogs now because they are awake and running around so let's put on my shoes and Get going. On our day, I'm gonna have a little quick sip of Celsius one more time though, just for good luck. Okay, we got the ball and guess who loves the ball? Charlie loves the ball. <laughs> oh, this is my bad hand, hold on. fingers are so dirty because of this ball oh it's gross huh. if y'all are wondering why the dogs are in the pasture and charlie is in the small yard playing um fetch it's because a he loves fetch he could do this for hours on end if i gave him enough water outside and like a bunch of balls and b he's not trusted outside in the pasture because dude can climb eight foot fences. He can climb these. We have to build him like an aviary. I mean, we don't have a dog. We literally have a bird. He can fly away. So um, he's not allowed past this because he can get out. I don't know if y'all can tell. Like, look at that intense focus. As soon as I pick this up. So funny. It's so funny. Oh, look who's such a happy girl. Happy girl laying in the grass, girl. Oh, there's Lando, running like a bullet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lando gives the best hugs, but sometimes he scares me. I mean, he's a scary dog. You don't want to mess with Lando. Such a happy boy. Uh oh, thank you, bro. Thank you. 
We fed the dogs, we fed the cat, now it's time to feed the plants. <laughs> checked up with you and i was just making tiktoks <laughs> showing off the birthday fit because i'm actually kind of proud of it even though this shirt is simply just because i have a burn and um every other shirt would literally like i would die anyways i've got my plan for the rest of the day at the moment my mom is going to the house that they're gonna move into after i leave for college um and she's like you know fixing it up i think she's putting a new hutch in there which um she has an obsession with hutches. It's a problem at this point. It's a problem. Never, you know, I'm just sitting out here. I'm finishing. I'm surprised I haven't finished it, this yet. I have a real, I have a problem too. I have a problem with finishing drinks too fast. Like if I get a glass of water, I down that in like two seconds. And my issue is always at restaurants that they keep on refilling it. And so I keep on like having to drink it. It's like, it's like an, I'm like water. I drink. The, the plan for the rest of the day is I actually saw this really cute dress at Target. I was shopping for somebody else's present because me and this girl have the same, well, almost the same birthday. Her birthday was yesterday, mine is today, and so we're celebrating our birthday together. We're going to have a birthday dinner if we can find a freaking time where everyone is available. We're going to get sushi. However, nobody is available yet. And I'm not available tonight because I have a drill team event that I need to go to. Whatever. I'm not mad about it, but you know, whatever. What was I talking about? My mom's at the other house right now, but after she gets back, we're gonna go to Target and like Ulta so that I can get snail mucus because y'all saw my skin this morning. It was really red and I found my friend has been telling me for months that the snail mucus like advanced 96, whatever it's called gets rid of redness and it works uh, i've gotten multiple recommendations for this product and so i'm gonna be trying it out you guys have probably already tried it out because it was like a trend a long time ago to you know get the snail mucus ew if y'all saw the new york vlog you already know that i ate a snail it was it was cray cray so you know what might as well just use snail products on my skin like i've already eaten it, it that's like the worst i can do so we're gonna go to target to get some other things. I forgot what, what was the first thing I needed, but I found this really cute dress yesterday when I was searching for my um, birthday buddy's gift, um, but it was $35 and I didn't want to buy it at the time. So I just asked my mom, I was like, do you want to get this? Like, it's really cute. And plus it would fit for um, like really well for a trip that I'm cut that's coming up soon. Hey vlog, here's a little update. I'm in my kitchen right now and my parents are still gone. So I can't go shopping yet, but um, I'm hungry, so I'm gonna eat more of the crepes that my mom made for me this morning. I'm actually so happy with this outfit. Like, I don't know what it is, but it's so light and airy, and it feels like it was written by ABBA, so it just makes me really happy. My kitchen looks like a mess, but that's like all the freaking time somebody just talks to me. Guys, I feel famous right now. I'm sorry, can we appreciate the hair? I don't know what it looks like from the back, but I'm assuming it looks fine. I feel like I'm written by ABBA right now and it just, this is such a good feeling. Y'all are definitely gonna see this outfit come back later. That's how you're supposed to make crepes. They are delish. Okay, okay, look at, oh, that's really bright. Can we tone it down a little? Wow, so freaking fancy, except it's supposed to be rolled up, but whatever. That. Anyways, guys, there's something that I really want to talk about. Like, during COVID years, I had just moved from California. I obviously didn't know anybody in Texas. And since it was COVID years, I couldn't see anybody in person. And I only talked to, like, my Californian friends. That was a rough period of my time. And I remember having such a bad mindset back then. I used to, like, think terribly about myself. I always went to the worst situation possible. I always used to doubt myself. Now I'm just thinking about, like, how silly that is because... 
now that I'm getting like all these texts, I'm, I'm sorry, this is not meant to be a flex like at all. I am getting so many lovely texts from so many lovely people. And even you guys, like, you guys have start wished me happy birthday on my Instagram. Sorry. Ah! You guys wished me happy birthday on my Instagram and it made me really happy because I like, I like posted about it constantly. So obviously somebody's going to be like, happy birthday. My only advice for people like going into high school or even like people in senior year right now, like hold on to the friends that you really care about because I didn't realize until this year who was really important. Last year I had horrible friends. They were terrible to me and they honestly ruined my like whole mindset. And I was just not feeling good. And I suddenly like, I found my friends. I have been friends with that, these people for three years and I'm only starting to really be grateful for them right now because my friends are so lovely and such wonderful people. Sorry. Is that too much? Basically what I'm trying to say is like, hold on to your friends. I'm just so glad that I got to find them. Even if I didn't realize that these were my people and that I would cherish these people forever. So I'm just getting really sentimental because like it's my, I'm, I'm 18 now. We made it to Ulta. I just took like an hour long nap. My face is way too good to be in an Ulta beauty. I've decided I'm gonna make a fruit thing bowl. Let's go eat some yummy food. Basically every year my drill team does this like charity sort of work where we, um, we have a bunch of people sign up and then we go around and deliver eggs to their house so the parents don't have to do it. And um, there was a little mishap. So we ended up driving like a mile away from where we were supposed to go. And so we got back very late. Uh, my mom was very irritated. She wanted to go to bed. And um, just, just some things happened. So, you know, I started cleaning dishes. I've just been listening to like Noah Khan and like... Zach Bryan to calm me down. No con, I've loved her a long time. Zach Bryan's a little bit new, but I am going to see him in concert very soon. So that's super exciting. I'm also going to see Dominic Fike. Oh my gosh. Okay. Here's the haul. We got this huge Target bag. I was supposed to go to Target in order to like get a dress and I was really excited. But as y'all saw in the footage, I was not having it. The first one was that pink one. It was so freaking cute on the mannequin. Then I put it on me and the medium doesn't fit. And I'm like, oh, that's weird because the medium usually fits. It fit here, didn't fit anywhere else. So I moved down a size, you go to a small, I can't breathe. And the material like wasn't stretchy at all. And then there was the white one. The second, the first white one, it looked bad. It, I did. I don't think I even took a picture of it. It was so like bulky and like, Again, it was medium, did not fit. So I got a different white dress in an extra small and it made me look really, I don't, I'm not gonna say fat, but it made me look like wide, which I do have a really wide body, but it doesn't look that wide. So we didn't buy that dress. But we did buy a bunch of other things. As you all saw, we went to Ulta Beauty. I got the Advanced Snail 96 thing, Mucin Power Essence. Wow, that's a long name. Got the Snail Mucin. That's a good name for it. And, and this is supposed to help with redness. Apparently it doesn't work on some people, but I'm really hoping that the snails like me. Then I finally got OGX. Y'all, I have been missing my OGX. I know you can't see it right now, but insert a picture. I have severely like curly hair. It's sometimes it's wavy, sometimes it's curly. This is me after I straightened it. And recently it's been like damaged a lot, like breaking a lot. I'm trying out that heatless curler, which I guess I can make a video on it, but it might not be like a full video. 
sorry i'm just yapping at this point long story short this i used to like use this all the freaking time then my mom started getting me like this other one and then she bought me more and i was like okay i just i have two shampoos and conditioners that i need to use now so i had to go through those and now i'm done with them well i'm almost done but anyways we're going back to obgx because um, it's for the curly girls and then apparently i got this because apparently this also helps with the redness of skin and y'all know I'm freaking struggling with that. I'm struggling so freaking hard. Next up for my sunburn. This is it at the moment. You know, it's not too bad, but I was in enormous pain throughout the entire like egg throwing thing where I threw eggs into people, like Easter eggs into people's yards. Oh, anyways, but I'm also on my period. And so like the inside of my guts was hating on me and like stabbing me and then the outside was stabbing on me so i was just like it was not fun it was not fun but i managed to keep a happy attitude and now i have the savior aloe vera one time i got a full body burn it was like arms chest feet legs at the time i wa i like had a desk and i sat like at my desk and so i was just like this and then when i got up i was like Oh my gosh, I can't move. And so I walked like this for a whole day. It was a long time. It was a full body burn, like probably first degree. No, 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 wait, that's the worst one, isn't it? Second degree, is that the better one? I don't know. Whichever one's least worst, that's probably what it was because ooh, I was blistering. Okay, we got a lot of like basics that are really good. Like if this doesn't cure me, I'm gonna be so upset. If I have to be honest, like, was this birthday good? Not really. I was gonna say it started off good, but it started off with my mom being really grumpy. The whole day, I just didn't wanna admit that I was gonna like be terrible, but I don't know. I'm really grateful to be 18 because most of the problems I have now are just not being like independent enough. I feel like I am a very independent person and so since I am still like in high school and having to live with like parents and not being able to provide for myself, I think that's starting to get to me. And um, especially now that I'm 18 and I can, well, I should be able to provide for myself. Ooh, sorry, pain. I'm very grateful for all the things I have. And I think that's just where I need to end it because I'm just complaining at this point and complaining gets us nowhere living on your own and being like 18 growing up it sounds so scary to some people but i think i'm just really ready to be done <laughs> i'm ready to be done with high school i'm ready to be done with living under like someone else's roof i am so ready to be independent that's my view on it obviously y'all can think something else but like i'm just so ready <laughs> to move out Comment down below if you're a senior too or you're turning 18 or, you know, anything you feel, I don't know, stressed about, you want to talk about. I look at every single one of my comments mostly because the max I get is like five. Like, even if y'all comment a thousand times, I'm going to look at every single one because I love seeing y'all comment. It makes my freaking day. Like, you don't understand when I get a notification that says like you guys are chatting in the comments, I'm like, oh my gosh. Thank you guys so much for listening to me ramble. I think I already said that, but I'm gonna say it again. I hope you guys had a wonderful time watching this. And if you did, you can go ahead and let me know by liking the video. I love you guys so, so much. And I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me on my solo birthday. Bye. I feel like an adult. Thank <laughs> you.